As much as I enjoyed the show Transformers Cyberverse, I never really felt like getting into the toy line because every time I saw one in a shop it'd look a little... you know. But all that changed when this slag showed up. Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures Deluxe Dinobot Slug, or Tibcads for short, is an odd beast. Not because he's a robot that turns into a Triceratops, that's perfectly normal for Transformers, but because he's kinda good, but also kinda not so good. Aesthetically, he's quite nice, sporting the more simplified look of Cyberverse over the greeble heavy look of your standard modern generations toy. In particular, I really like his head sculpt. Looks like a right grumpy dickhead, which is what you want in a slug, I suppose. Although, if I'm honest, the plastic does look and feel a bit cheap compared to Generations, which is accentuated by that lack of detail, but it's cheaper, so whatever. Ah, uh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, no, in fact, I'm being told that his recommended retail price is higher than a standard Generations Deluxe. I mean, I like him, but I can't exactly see where that extra money's going. By the way, my wife found this one at TK Maxx for 11 quid, so that was a bit more reasonable. Looking at his posability, he's mostly pretty good, able to get into all sorts of dynamic shapes as befits this small ball of violence. With the ankle tilt really being the highlight, since due to his transformation, it actually pivots around the centre of the foot, allowing for a much more natural look than the mildly disturbing hinges that some have. I would have liked there to be some rotation above the elbow, but life is full of little disappointments. I'll survive. The one big issue is that the shoulders and hips are just simple ball joints, and due to their shape, the top of the legs are really prone to getting caught on his hips. Hell, I've had one of his legs pop off due to this. And when combined with some pretty stiff thigh rotation on mine, there's an awful lot of pressure being focused on the top of this little peg, and I can absolutely see that being a common point of failure as time goes on. So like, yeah, maybe be mindful of that if you do get him. And whilst I'm being all me slag no like anything, the elbows on mine are a bit weak, which isn't a problem normally, but it does mean that he has trouble holding up his gun when you use its blast effect. Oh yeah, the accessories. So Slug comes with a few accessories, a hand axe and a double barreled gun with a bespoke blast effect. They even have like paint apps and everything. They're decent little accessories. You can even combine the two weapons into a bigger gun, and despite there not being a specific blast effect for the new top barrel, it is compatible with the smaller standard ones so it doesn't feel left out. The weapons can be stored on his back via some 5mm ports, and you can do the usual mixing and matching with the mainline if that's the sort of deviant behaviour you partake in. His transformation is quite clever and does a lot with not much space, although that does mean the clearances can be pretty tight and the part where the entire chest unclips and rotates is kind of stiff and poorly demonstrated by the instructions. Seriously, I wasn't sure if it or my flesh was going to break when I transformed it for the first time. But at the end, you're left with this sweet little trike. His mouth is even on a hinge. Excuse me! There's a port on his back should you want to store all his accessories on this mode and yeah, I like this. This is good, he is cute, and any Transformer with a cute alt mode gets a free pass from me. But would I recommend him? Well, that depends. I kind of feel that between the more awkward parts of the transformation and my concerns over the hip strength, I don't know how good a toy for the intended demographic of younger kids this would actually be. But I'm not a child or a parent, so what do I know? But as an adult collector of such things, he's just way too expensive at his normal price in my opinion, especially when the mainline deluxes are usually cheaper and feel higher quality. But if the price doesn't bother you, or like me you can find him cheaper, then there's a lot to like here. At the end of the day, he's a nicely poseable little chap with a fun alt mode and has real don't talk to me or my son ever again energy when you put him with one of the larger studio series Dinobots. So, Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures Deluxe Dinobot Slug, get him! Or don't. I'm not your dad, I can't tell you what to do. All I will say is that my life has been made slightly better by having a tiny Triceratops about the place, so take that for whatever it's worth, I guess. Mm -hmm.